Is social media on the hook for mass murder? That is the question. Federal appeals court rules Biden admin and FBI censored social media platforms into censorship, violating First Amendment. Is social media on the hook for mass murder? That's a very important question we need to ask because it's something that's been squirreling around in my mind. And I think so, yes. I think so. I think that, yes, for sure. And I'll tell you why. Let's look at the sandwich theory we brought up before. You buy a sandwich uh, from a sandwich store. You go home, you eat the sandwich. You feel violently ill with the sandwich. You take to social media and said, wow, I ate from this place and I got violently ill on social media, discussing what happened and how it happened and what you ate and maybe describing what, what the contents were inside the sandwich. Since when is that illegal or since when would that give you a channel termination? Since when will that remove you off social media for calling out a sandwich that wasn't made right or the ingredients passed? Now, let's take it to the next level. You ate the sandwich, you end up in the emergency room. And you're really not well and the doctors are looking at you, you're not well. So you take the social media and you make a video about how this sandwich has violently upset you, has put you in a position where you basically had to go to the hospital and the doctors are looking at you and it doesn't look good because it's a severe food poisoning or severe something. But you take the social media to report this. Since when the social media go in there or social media platforms would go in and censor you since when is it illegal to talk about your 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 interaction with the sandwich store and your interaction with what happened with the hospital and what you are going through? Since when did that become? Okay. Now let's take it further. You die from the sandwich. The sandwich kills you. Your family takes to social media and wants answers why this sandwich store sold you a sandwich that ended up killing you. So people look at it and, you know, maybe stay in clear of the sandwich store or basically avoid eating that type of sandwich or they do an investigation to figure out. They do an investigation on the sandwich and why it killed. Now, since when would back in the, well, anytime during main uh, social media, you would go on and say, I lost a family member and so and so to a sandwich. The sandwich killed him. So you see where I'm going here. So back in the day, if a sandwich killed you, or you got sick from a sandwich, or a sandwich tasted terrible, or something wasn't right either with the, the company or the store or where you, the sandwich store, and you reported on it, Social media never really cared. Social media never really stepped in. Social media didn't care. So why? So is now people bringing up stories or coming into the light and realizing what is going on and over since, again, since the beginning of 2020, we've been reporting this, since all this has happened all this time and everything, the amount of suspensions, channel terminations, Got 19 suspensions on YouTube and even talking around the subject, right? Talking around the subject, trying to wake people up. So since when is it illegal to talk about something that you're not feeling well? So somebody dies from a sandwich and they're going to label that as medical misinformation? Are they going to put a climate change blurb on the bottom of the uh, video? Back to my original question. Is social media on the hook for mass murder? Let me know in the comments below. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.